In this video, we will go through the basics of Bash. I will show you how to reuse the code that we wrote in Python study, run that code as a service. And specifically, I will show you two ways to do that. One is to use XNetD and the other is to use TCP server. After we set it up as a server, I'm going to show you how to connect to the server and how to interact with the service using NC Netcat. In the last, I will show you how to use the client script that we wrote in the previous Python session and interact with the server. Recall that from the Python session, we write two files, a client and a server. And let's just have a quick overview, quick review for what we have written for the server. It's a very, very simple server. It just take an input from the client and then echo the message that we get from client, like just print it out, right? So in the next, what we are going to do is that we're going to redirect this from a socket so that it will output this message asking client the message and then react to the client by saying you just said um, along with the message that the client just input. And the first, I'm going to show you how to use it with the comment called x in D. So the way that we're going to do is that we are going to open a new file and then write this service the configuration over there. As you can see over here, we are going to define the service in this configuration file. We're going to make it as a TCP stream and with no wait server. And the user means, you know, when the client connects to the server, what is the user uh, of the client? And then we're just find that with the local address. And this is the line that we need to pay attention, server line. And this server line will specify the executable file that will be run when the client connects to the server. And as you can see over here, we direct this to server.py, which is the server file that I just showed you. And the type means you know, the server type. And here, because we're writing, we're writing our own server, there's no specific type for it, so we just like put and listed over there. So the port number you can specify, you can just use whatever number you like. I'll just put 6000 in this demo. All right, so let's try to run it. Running it is very easy. Um, it only requires one command and you need to do sudo xnetd and then read this service.conf as the uh, configuration. So dash f means that you need to pass this configuration file as the file for xnetd to read and understand. And usually I would like to put a file log over there just in case there's something wrong and I can debug it in later, like in the future. So I'm going to have file log and I'll just put log over there. Okay. Uh, it will ask me for the password and then it starts to run. So if you look at um, your current process, you will be able to find that xnetd with service.conf is currently running. Now let's try to connect to it. Um, the way that we're going to connect to it is to use another file uh, called another command called netcat. So the way that netcat works is that um, you, use, um, you can pass the, uh, um, you know, the local host as the address and the port number over there. So I'm going to use netcat and in short, I, I'm going to just type nc followed by the destination as it shows over here. So I'm going to just put local host an important number, which is 6000. So now we got the service. The service asks us, what do you want to say? 
we again put some random message over there and we see we got the feedback from the service. And then one more enter, we're gonna disconnect uh, from the service. Okay, so this is one way to really, you know, run the server and interact with the server. And I'm going to kill this, kill the um, server. And you, as you can see over here, if you're going to run this again, you're no longer get the message from the server. And now let's try to use another way to create the server uh, using these servers, uh, the server.py, and then connect this again. Now we're going to use another command called TCP server. And if you look at TCP server, you can take a look at the main page, you will see that TCP server, it just it accepts incoming TCP connections. And you can use this as a way to set up a server at a particular host, particular port, using a particular program. And as he described in description, TCP server waits for connection from TCP clients. For each connection, it runs the program that we specify over here. And then with description zero reading from the network and descriptor one writing to the network. It also sets up several environment variables. For us, a very simple way to use TCP server is to just type TCP server and then specify the address, which we just put zero over here, which will represent the local host, and then put the port number again. It's 6000 followed by the address, uh, sorry, the path of um, the program they want to run. Okay, and now it's running. To test that, let's use NC to connect to the server again. Now we're back. We get the service, uh, we get the message, and um, in this way we can run the server and we can connect to the server. And this will be very useful for you in the future in this course because you will come across challenges that you probably need to test locally. And this is a very quick and nice way for you to test it locally because you can just use one command like TCP server or XNetD with a specific configuration file, which you can reuse in the future so that you set up a server in your local machine and then test it with your interaction script. Okay, now let's just let the server run and then try to use our Python script to interact with the server. Recall that previously. Recall that previously we write a client code. In this client code, what we did is we first initiate initiate the process server.py and then we start to send message to the process and now since the server is already running and we want to interact with the server we're going to change this line a little bit and because we're using pong lib uh, pong tools changing this is very easy so all you need to do is just to use another function called remote and instead of doing and instead of doing process what we are going to do is to redefine this connection um, as r is equal to remote and then we just put the address which we can use local host to, to specify it like the current host that you are using and the port Okay, now let's try to run the client. As you can see from the screen, we got this message. 
What do you want to say? You just said hello, which is the result that we get from the server through this client. And in the future, you probably need to write a Python script that will interact with the server that you set up locally or the server um, that is set up remotely as our challenges or as our assignment. Um, you probably need to use this and feel free to take this as your you know, very simple and very like the first addition of the template if you want to use this to connect to the server and talk over there. So probably in the future, what you need to do is that you have this uh, remote connection and then start to send line and receive line over there to interact. And also you probably want to print it because you want to make sure that the interaction, the received message that you get from the server is correct. Actually, when you finish the entire um, interaction, I would suggest you to close it just in case of memory leakage. Okay, so let's try to run it again. Now it will tell you that in the end, it will tell you that, you know, the client has closed the connection to the local host at port 6000.